I'm ripping apart an old projector and as you can see it's got these brass threaded inserts in here, different types. This is a one-sided and this is a through insert. And there's several of them around here. They're kind of hard to find if you're going to buy them. But uh, anyway, I always like to salvage stuff and so I thought I'd show you the quick and easy way to get those out of there so you can reuse them. The process is rather simple. You just need to find something you can put in there to either push or pull. In this case, I'm going to push them out. So I'm going to put this screw underneath here and, you know, I, the screw is just something to push on. It doesn't have to fit in there nicely. So I'm going to put it down here. Let it warm up. Need some patience. Don't press too hard. You don't want to lose control of the working piece and uh, force the soldering iron onto your fingers or your fingers onto the soldering iron. But there she goes. Just a little bit of pressure. Comes out. Done. In this case, to pull one out, we're going to need a uh, screw that fits the thread. And I have this old foot from the projector. So again, we're just going to apply heat and pull. Watch your hands. Oftentimes, better use a pair of pliers. And that's it. We'll just uh, dip, repeat the same process. And there she is. A little bit of cleanup and you've got a very good quality threaded brass insert. Here's the one that goes all the way through. So again, we just put the leg on here and we'll uh, heat it from this side. And again, watch your fingers. Take all precautions necessary. If you need to use gloves, use gloves. And we'll heat it from this side. It's already going. It'll go much faster and there it is. Again, the parts are hot, so be careful. Probably the biggest trick to this is getting heat to the brass. And it means you have to melt the plastic around it a little bit. So be it. See, I got my soldering gun right there and melted that out. But again, I'm just pulling this out of old junk, so it doesn't matter. To get the heat on the brass, Protect your fingers. That's about it. And by the way, you notice that this uh, threaded insert was uh, pulled out. Uh, somebody over tightened the screw. You can also reinstall a threaded insert if you very carefully heat it and press it back into position. Again, the, the key term there is carefully. Make sure you don't overheat it and turn it into a melted mess. But if you press it squarely back in there, you can actually reinstall them. And just as an example, there it is, it's reinstalled and that's how you'd install them in a, uh, a new work when you're working on something and you want to use a threaded insert. That's what you do, you drill a hole that's a little bit smaller, you put in the threaded insert, heat it up and press it in. So with a little bit of work, a little bit of care, you can end up with some very good quality threaded brass inserts for your project. Well, hope you found it useful and interesting. <laughs>